Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to ball before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? I mean, someone is always going to end up standing right by the door. I'm just good at making sure it's me. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition. An endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. Warm wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me. Uh, Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. Bond Street. It's, uh, it's on the other platform. Thank Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Care for the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Get something? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before, you know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. <laughs> I think your boyfriend's an arsehole. <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? <laughs> just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <laughs> Can I help you with something? I need a favor. 
I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> okay, he doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <laughs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <sighs> okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in a Maserati. That was rash. How much is the bet for? A grand. A grand? <sighs> a hundred of it is yours, if you let me have those keys. 200. Okay. 300. But it... You said 200 way too quickly. Look, would you rather be a 700 up or a grand down? I'm trusting you, yeah? It's not free. <laughs> 200 in cash tonight. In cash tonight. I'm good for it. No more fast cars tonight, all right? Turn around. Slowly. Get over it. Drop it. Smart. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You're done now. Get in the house. Fifteen feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place. Kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. 
Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive it? Cos you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice bowl? Cos I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're gonna use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. Need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that, you know, Irish Pete. <sighs> what about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer, I don't intend to start now. <sighs> Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diffinoxin? What the fuck is that? Guess would have headaches like you. Hold still, making things worse. Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key, what the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face? Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. Well, you can. Yeah, certainly can. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You best not fuck this up. Okay, let's get set. And what do I get in return? Don't push your lock. Five grand for unlocking the car. And as of tonight, I'm out of a job. So I want a full share. There is no share. I'm taking his risk. So I want his share. Fuck off. Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. OK, I'll tell you what, you two split 50-50. That's the deal. Done. You can't do this. It's done. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. <laughs> Do I keep my mouth shut and take the money?